Hello again, this is UML Operator. Hello and welcome back. In this abbreviated version, we're going to be importing model data into a different Sparks project instance. In the previous episode, we took this model project here, we exported using XMI 1.1, XMI 2.1, Sparks native XML format and Sparks XEA. At the end of the episode, our project will look something like this, where we have native XML brought in, we have XMI 2.1 brought in, XMI 1.1 imported in or brought in, and XEA imported into the project. The first thing we're going to do is create a blank project. There is nothing in here. There is no reference data. Then we're gonna go out to reusable asset service and let's just bring in some reference data for this project. Let's bring all of it in. And now, now we have our cover page, our patterns, our logos and everything necessary. Let's go to resources in the browser. Let's go to patterns. Let's go to model patterns and let's bring in the UML cover page for our landing or cover page. So we're just gonna bring this in. We have our logos and all of that. And there we're ready to get started in this episode. Actually, before we start, let's go to the start tab. Let's go to model diagram, hit the drop arrow, manage and set current as default. So each time the project loads, we'll land on our cover page. Now let's go to the pair folder, project imports. We're gonna choose control, alt, and I this time for import, brings up this dialog box. We're going to browse, and we're going to bring in Sparks native file that we had exported in the previous. We're not gonna strip GUIDs. We're not gonna make any changes here, but we do want a baseline package after it is imported. So we're gonna select import, yes, import this in. And we're, because we said, hey, we want a baseline, we'll make this zero one. We're gonna leave the date and time in there for this. And now this project is baselined. You can double check, go here, control alt and B, and there you go, there's our baseline. The next thing that we're going to do is we're gonna rename this package the file that we brought in, and we wanna rename the diagram as well, all right? So the diagram and the package represent native XML in our cover page. We're gonna drag and drop this diagram in as a navigation cell. We're not gonna choose an icon, we're gonna leave it blank, and there we go. The navigation cell has the name of the file as well as the diagram, all right? Next, let's bring in XMI 2.1. So we're gonna select the parent package, Control, Alt, and I, get this dialog box again. We're going to select this time XMI 2.1. We're gonna hit open, but this time we're gonna strip GUIDs because we do not want the same elements coming into this project and conflicting with the UML elements that were in the native format import. So we're stripping GUIDs to get completely new, global unique IDs for all of the elements we're bringing in. We're gonna go ahead and baseline the package after import. And there we go. It says that we have to save first. There's an axis right here we haven't saved. We're gonna select okay. Now this is saved, it's importing. We get baseline, and for this one, we're going to hit zero, 01, date and time, there we go. Now this one is in, all right? Now what we want to do for this package here is we're going to give it the name of the file that we brought in, and we're doing the same thing for the diagram. We're gonna drag and drop the diagram in as a navigation cell. We're not gonna choose an icon, and there we go, now we have 2.1 in this project. Now for Spark 17 users, there's a problem with importing 2.1. Basically, I'm gonna go ahead and double click to launch the diagram. 
the links, the hyperlinks and the navigation cell links did not come in. These are basically, if I double click on this, it should go to this particular model and it does not. If I double click on the hyperlink, all I get is the notes. It does not have the link in it. This bug has been reported to Sparks and hopefully it is fixed in the next release, all right? No problems with native and when we bring in 1.1, there is no problems with that. Now, this shouldn't be an urgent issue because we, when you're in Sparks, we're going to be using native XML. And if you're in other tools and importing, they do not understand what a Sparks navigation cell is, nor do they understand what a link hyperlink is. So it's not a major concern on this bug at this point, but for all, we tested this in version 16 and earlier, and there weren't any problems with importing XMI 2.1 models out of Sparks. Next, we're gonna to go to the parent package called Project Imports. We're gonna hit Control, Alt, and I for import again. And this time, we're going to bring in XMI 1.1. So we'll go ahead and hit Open. We're going to strip goods again because we do not want this import conflicting with 2.1 or the native XML. So we don't want it conflicting with anything in the project. We want completely separate global unique IDs for all of the elements, right? So we're gonna baseline the package and import, and we're not gonna worry about merge XMI, and we're gonna select import, and there it, it's coming in we, because we asked it the baseline. This one is going to be 0.1. Right, now that's done. And let's rename this package so we don't get confused with the other namespaces or packages. This is 1.1. We're going to drag and drop this one in as a navigation cell and just set it right next to that one. Remember to save, and there we go. Now the powerful thing about XMI, XML Metadata Interchange, if other tools are following the XMI standard, you can bring your Sparks models into their modeling tool. And there are many that are out there. I used Star UML back about 20 years ago, and I use Argo UML from 1999 to still use it a little bit today. Argo UML is open source. Star UML used to be open source, but now you pay a price for it. And I think they're on version 16 or something like that. This is version five. The point I'm trying to make is some companies or shops have older UML tools that are OMG XMI compliant. And what we're going to do is choose file. We're going to choose import. We're gonna choose XMI and we're going to bring in the file in order to import this project into this particular project. So I have the file name, we're bringing that in. It recognizes it as XMI version 1.1. UML version does not recognize it, shouldn't be a problem. And then the exporter tool for this file was Enterprise Architect 2.5. Right, so generate diagrams of view. We're not going to generate a new project. We're gonna hit okay. And because they're use case models, Star UML gives us these packages. We're gonna put it in use case. So here comes the file, it is complete. And now we can go to, we didn't title the project. We're not worried about that. What we're going to do is get to our imported files. Here they are, double click it. And there we go. So we XMI recognized the fact that we have an actor called user. We have three use cases, authentication, profile management, and authorization, just as the file that was exported. But it does not recognize the navigation cell, does not recognize the links that are in here. Instead, it puts them as notes. So notes in here, all right? There are no notes or metadata under these, but I will tell you that all of your 
properties and everything, all of that came in following the UML standards. Next, let's bring in our XEA export from the previous session. So again, we're gonna hit Control, Alt, and I for import. And this time we're going to browse and we're going to bring in XEA. So this was the file from that export. We're gonna go ahead and hit open. And then we're going to make sure that we baseline when we bring it in. And we're going to strip GUIDs on this one again, because we don't want it conflicting with our original file. So we're gonna hit import. It's going in and bringing in that binary file. We're gonna also tag this one as version 01, hit okay, and it is done, right? We're gonna close this. Same name, use cases as the original source. We're going to change this name to XEA, the file name that we brought in. We're going to do the same for the diagram, and we're gonna drag and drop the diagram as a navigation cell into our cover page. Again, we're not worried about an icon. We can always deal with that later. Now, I would not use XEA to bring in small packages. I would use native, Spark's native XML. We use XEA for larger project, more complicated project files. In this case, what we're going to do is we're going to hit Control, Alt, and E for export. This time we're going to choose XEA for this entire package. You can see there's the parent in here. It will bring in everything as a binary file. This is great for archiving. Of course, it's binary. You can't get access to view the any XML. And we're gonna go ahead and choose our source. We're gonna go ahead and replace this XEA file that's here. Go ahead and hit save. Yes, step on it and then hit export. And so what it's doing is exporting this entire package with everything we've done in this session, and it is complete, right? Next, we're gonna take all the work we did in this session, we're gonna right click on this, and we're going to delete this entire project. So it is deleting everything in the Sparks database, and we're blank, we're back to square one, right? This is a blank project, it does have the reference data that we brought in, but it has no model data. Now we're gonna to go to the model folder. This is a root folder, and we're going to hit Control, Alt, and I again for import. We're going to browse for the file, that, the project that we want to bring in or the XEA that we wanna bring in. This is the one we just created. We're gonna hit OK. We are not going to strip GUIDs, we have the original GUIDs in the native import, native XML import, and all the other packages we stripped GUIDs, right? We're not gonna worry about merge. We are going to baseline the entire project at this point, and let's go ahead and select import. Are you sure? Yes, and what it's doing right now is importing that binary. We asked it to baseline. We're going to give it a zero one, and it is now baseline. So the project is baseline. Let's go ahead and close this. Control, Alt, and B. There's our baseline. And let's hit our cover page. And there we go. All right. So we have everything that we did in this session, native XML, XMI 1.1, XMI, um, sorry, this was XMI 2.1, XMI 1.1, and the XEA import for this package, this entire project was brought in via Sparks XEA. All right, that's going to conclude this episode on importing models into Sparks Enterprise Architect using the exports from the previous video from a separate project into a new project. We also demonstrated older tools and other tools that support XMI model exchange, whether it's 1.1 to 2.1 extensions on bringing those in. In this case, we use Star UML. There are many tools that are out there today that are OMG UML compliant. So I hope this video was helpful for you. Are you doing model exchange today? 
either between Sparks Enterprise Architect instances or between disparate tools like Star UML, Argo UML. There are many that are out there. Let us know in comments down below. We'll try to do demonstrations on those. We plan on getting into demonstrating other tools other than Sparks. So until the next episode, happy modeling.